All right, awesome. So first of all, one of the things that I do quite a bit is go into publishing tools on my Facebook business page. This is awesome because it allows you to basically create different types of ads. Um, what I use is the canvas here. Um, you just go to create canvas and what this does is basically it kind of gives you a whole set of things that you can do to build it. Um, so let's call this um, uh, for my listing. So this is going to be 79 uh, Barry Road and you can do whatever you want. You know, if it, it's a title that's just for your uh, for your own knowledge, basically, it's not going to show up anywhere or anything like that. So select the theme. So basically, if you look down in this area here, this is where your this this whole thing is where your canvas is going to be created. This is your ad space here. Uh, so right now it's white. If you chose black, you can see it shows up black down here. Uh, or you can do custom colors if you wanted to add a, a custom color. For me, I just always stick with the white. It just seems to be a little bit cleaner. So. Um, next thing you're going to do is just start adding components so in this case here um, you can choose to add a button you can choose to you know which is like a call to action this would be like contact us or click here for my website or whatever the case may be uh, carousel is going to be a series of photos that you can um, go across so anywhere from two to I think uh, 12 photos you can go through um, this here this is for an individual single photo um, text block this is where you can write whatever you want to write you know whether it's one word 100 words 500 words whatever the case may be um, this would be a section if you have a video um, if you shot a short little video you wanted to add it in there um, you can add it in at any point and then the header obviously this is your header title here um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna click on header I'm gonna hit OK um, and basically what I'm gonna do for my header is um, this is where your logo is gonna go so uh, upload we're gonna go into um, to my logos here and I'll go into here start choosing logos um, hey look at that prestige home mortgage let's see so we're gonna put this in so this is our business logo right there I'm gonna leave the background color um, as white and the uh, opacity obviously leave it leave it as that so there's really nothing else you need to do on the header um, you don't even have to change the title if you want but you can see what that does is it puts the logo right up at the right up at the very top um, next thing I'm going to do, add a component. In my case here, um, what I do is I'm going to use the carousel. And the reason for that um, carousel that I'm going to use is because what I'm going to do is put several different uh, pictures in there. This is where it gets pretty cool. So what you can first do is you can use this button here, fit to width, which is basically going to make sure that the picture stays within the uh, frame of the mobile app. Or if you chose this one, you can fit to height, tilt to pan. So basically, this is if you have a larger picture, someone can move their phone from side to side and, and, and be able to see that. What I like about this section here is it allows you, notice when I clicked on this, it opens up this website. You can create uh, where you can put a destination URL. So if you want someone to land on your web page, if you're doing an ad and you have a landing page or something like that, um, you can direct them to click here, obviously, on your landing page. Uh, so what we're going to do is just upload. Uh, I'm going to start uploading some images. So what I'm going to do is go to my go to this particular listing. Um, and what I'm going to do is 79 Barry Road. And what we're going to do is start looking at these uh, photos. So first off, you know, just start go to my resized ones. It'll load quicker for you to be able to see. So we're just going to add a photo. There's one boom right there. See how the photo shoots up there? And it has a little arrow because obviously we're going to start adding additional photos. So number two, I'm going to start adding. So we're not going to go too crazy, but you know, at least kind of give you a little bit of a little bit of an idea here. So we're going to add a third photo. Oop. Let's get back out of there. My bad. So okay. Now we're going to add. And you know what? We're going to choose this one. I'm going to add. I can't even see my photos here, so what am I looking at? If you know anybody looking for a great house over on the west side, this is a nice short sale opportunity for someone here. So I'll add this. We'll go in and we'll add living room shot. And you can put as many, like I said, you can put in as many as you want, as little as you want. Completely up to you how you want to, uh, how you want to go about doing that. So, um, bear with me here. I'm going to put two more in of the backyard and then I'll show you what else we can do here. 
So let's see, we got the shot here. You know what? Just one, maybe one more in the backyard. We'll use, we'll use this one. All right. So the next thing you can do here, you got all, you have all your photos, all your photos are up here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put a destination URL. So in my say, in my case here, um, you know, 79 Barry Road, I create single property websites for them. So this is the actual single property website for this this one. So it's just a matter of just copy paste. Um, I'm going to go back to Facebook and just paste it there. So what that just did is that just added the link to it. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is hit add a component and what we're going to do is we're going to put text in there. So what I'm going to be doing here is simply again going back to this and realistically I am just going to basically just going to copy this and I'm going to put it right into my ad so again you can use whatever you want to use you can do whatever you want to do um, you can add it in there you can do whatever you want so um, first off delete the text in there that says write something otherwise you end up with stuff like that so delete that back up to the top okay and You know, you can you can set it up however you however you want. You know, so as you can see, as you start creating it, you it starts building it up down here. Um, you know, you can change the you can change the font if you want to change the font, change the size. You know, bold. You know, if you want certain things bold or italicized, underlined, whatever the case may be. Again, it's it's completely customizable. You can do anything that you you know anything that you want. Um, you know, we can even add another component. We can add another photo. Um, you know, and I can hit you know add another photo here and say hey you know what I you know let's do this let's add um let's just add this as the as the bottom you know so i just added another one to the bottom of the thing you know so i have all the you know we have the photo we have the carousel up at the top um you know i have the carousel that's up here um you got the photo that's down at the bottom you know, so I mean, you can add, you can do whatever, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, you can add them, subtract them, you know, whatever. I'm going to take this out for the moment because I don't want that in my ad. But you have the ability to be able to move stuff up. If you want the text in front of the pictures, move it up. If you want the header, you know, header is always going to be at the top. But if you want to put the, if you want to move this down like this, you can put the words up at the top, the carousel down at the bottom. You know, you can. Um, you can change whatever you want. So if you had different items that are in there, so if you had a video that was in there, you know, you want to put a button in there. What's, you know, what's the button going to be? Um, you know, so, uh, let's do this. Let's say you want to say for more information, for more information, click here. Okay, and then again, what we're going to do is we want to land people on your site or on whatever the case may be. The site, your landing page, it's all about lead capture when it comes down to this. So, boom, I'm going to stick it right there. And you can see that we just added a little button right there. So, if I want to change the button, you know, if I want to change it to red, you know, it's just the, it basically it's the border that you're, that you're looking at. So, um, for more information, click here. Sure. Uh, let's do that close uh, you want to fill it I can fill it that way um, you want to inline you want to fix to the bottom whatever the case maybe you can do it however you want to do so um, you know what I'm gonna leave it as fill and I'm just gonna lighten it up so that it's a little so it's a little bit more no actually no you know what? I'm gonna leave it as a border we'll leave it as that all right and then what that's gonna do is basically created an ad. So this is an entire landing page. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna hit save. All right. And then I can preview it on my cell phone. Um, I can share with people that are on my page or I can simply just hit finish. And finish. So now here's the cool thing about this. So now that it's done, here's here it is. You can duplicate this ad, create a different one. Um, you can page, you can post it right to your page. 
or you can get a URL link. So if I clicked on the URL, this is the link to this ad. So if you wanted to put this ad in an email template, if you wanted to, um, you know, text it to somebody, whatever the case may be, you, this is your link, and it'll go right to the ad. As a matter of fact, here I'll kind of um, actually we can't do it that way, but so in this case, what I'm going to do page post. It's going to automatically open up my business page, and bam, there it is. Give it a second; it should populate. So what we're going to do is new listing, or no, what? Just listed, just listed. Open house Sunday, October second, from one. 30 to 3 p.m. And then, you know what? I'm going to just say and just copy a small little portion of it. And amazing opportunity for the spacious West Side Colonial. This house has so much to offer. Come. Take a look and see for yourself. So then down here, you know, you can write whatever you want to write. So new listing courtesy of the pros real estate team. 315. 315,000. Good deal. Three bedrooms, two. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms. No, I'm gonna take that out. Three hundred fifteen thousand. Three. Three bedrooms. Three bathrooms. All right, and we can put a image on there if we want to put an image. I just put the front cover. So there we go. So there's, there's our ad. Just listed open house Sunday, October 2nd, 1.30 to 3. Amazing opportunity, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you can also hear, so for more information, visit, where is it? And then we're just going to hit post. So we're going to publish. Bam. So it just created that ad right there. All right. And now the next thing we're going to do is in the next video, I will actually show you how we can go in and promote that particular ad. So if you've got any questions on that, again, it's publishing tools. And we're using the canvas section. So there's the ad that we just did. Okay, um, and we'll talk about how the ads go from there.